Hi, it's Rami, and welcome to Crystal Barrett's May I Scrap Lift You. And the creative scrapper I'm lifting today is Gwen Rook. And on Instagram and YouTube, she uses the same name, and it's created by Gwen. And this is the layout I'm going to lift today. And I actually have that cut file because my friend Debbie gave it to me. So, yeah, I'm going to use it and... Uh, I'm sure Gwen made it at Cuts to You because that's her shop. I'm scrapping a photo of my grandson and using Lakeside. Well, there is a paper pad from The Great Escape, but uh, everything else is Lakeside and, well, die cuts and stuff. But I, instead of leaving this white, I decided to make it a green color and I'm using peeled paint and also rustic wilderness and neither one's an oxide and then I'm going to use um, stormy sky for the old snap on there and I'll, I'm also going to do some stamping on it so I will let it dry a little bit just a little bit because it's still kind of wimpy when I went ahead and stamped but I am going to stamp on it too I used uh, the Stormy Sky on the half of Viewfinder, the half notes. I saved it from another layout, so it came in handy. And I did gesso this whole thing, so it hold the uh, water that I was putting on my ink to make it spread across there better. I did uh, use the gesso on it. On the camera itself, I am using the texture stamp, one of them from the Bow Bunny set that Debbie gave me, and then the other one, the gray one, it is Stampendous, and I think it's called Texture Something, too, and it has like four stamps with it, so that's my favorite one because it's cracked, and I'm going to add it to the old snap, and I'm going to add it to the viewfinder, too. They're, I'm trying to make those two things match, so maybe the old snap will show up a little better after I put the papers behind the viewfinder, the camera, not viewfinder, the camera. I am adding a little extra mixed media stuff. Well, it's just stenciling on the back. There's plenty on there because Katie Pertit put some on there to start with. But I wanted to add some colors. I wanted to add the green that's a little bit in the leaves and on the camera. And then I wanted to add the brown and, of course, the stormy sky. I think the last time I used that one stencil, I said it was um, Crafter's Workshop, which it is. But I couldn't remember the name of it. And it's called Scripty Grid. Yeah, Scripty Grid. And... Um, then the other ones I've used quite a bit. You probably don't know what all what the names of them are. I thought about putting my camera on foam tape, but I instead I put the photo on foam tape. I would have had to double it on the photo, so I decided to just go ahead and put it on the camera. And I'm going to try to attach everything before I actually put it down. I put the adhesive on the back, so I will have to pull it up because... I thought I set it down easy, but some of it was stuck, but not too bad. And I'm just going to put enough adhesive that I can put my trees behind there. And they'll go ahead and stick, and then I can just add a little bit of glue to the tree. And, you know, then I won't have to do any tucking. But I am getting my trees added, and I'm going to add three. At the end of the video, I'm going to goof big time, and I will be adding another tree and some mountains and all that stuff to cover up my goof. Uh, you can see already, and I'm not even done yet, my layout is completely different from Gwen's. Now, my photo here, it is of my grandson, Casey, and we were at Johnson shut-ins, and of course, there was plenty of water, lots and lots of rocks there, and... He was sitting right next to me on some rocks that our feet was just in the water. And Jake was there, and Jake kept doing all kinds of stuff. And we mostly had to follow him around when he got tired of playing there. You know, he went somewhere else, and we had to follow. Well, he was playing in the water and everything. And for some reason, he was a grouch that day. Well, I think it's because I got him up early, early. 
and took them, you know, and we went um, on a day trip. We went to two or three places and ate out. Anyway, um, for some reason, he told Casey, when Casey went to stand up to go look at something, he said that he wished he would fall. The words were no, not even out of his mouth, hardly. And Casey fell. I already had the camera to take a picture in my hand, and I snapped it. And so, yeah, the splashing is there, but it's small splashes because he was just hitting it. They weren't as big as I would have liked, but you can tell he was falling in the water. So my title is, oh, snap, because that's what's on the camera. And that's what made me think of this photo. I have scrapped it before for my album, but this is going to go in his. And I have catch of the day that I'm going to put on there, too. And I was thinking my photo was the catch of the day. This was the best one of the day. It was an accident, pretty much. Because this is where he was ending up as I hit the little button. I am adding some greenery to the layout. All the trees and greenery have been inked. I've got a container. They're left over from the last layout I did, except the trees. Everything else is left over from the last layout. But I went ahead and inked them so they'd already be done. Although the cattails are inked, I did use a brown zig writer and make the fuzzy part of the cattail brown. I am, let's see, what am I doing now? I am putting something on there. Oh, a mushroom. This one had a whole page I could fussy cut. So yeah, I have plenty of mushroom to put on here. So I'm adding a few of them. I added a sign that says Trail Lake Lodge. This is not a lake, but I decided it's okay because it is water. It's a mountain spring is what it is. I think it's Salk Mountain, S-A-U-L-K or S-A-U-K, something like that. I think it's what it is. But don't quote me on that. I could definitely be wrong. I wanted a little bit more grass, so I'm just freehanding it, and I'm going to tuck it in. And I'm also going to add one of the wooden signs. I think it was a sticker, and I backed it in white cardstock and put it on foam tape, the last layout. <laughs> and I'm just going to put it on there, too. But I'm not sure when. I thought it was next. Evidently, I was wrong. Yeah, there it is. It was next. I had it planned in my head. To use that uh, tree ring. However, the uh, lens on the camera is round and I've been setting it because it's a pretty good size right next to it and I did not want two big round circles together. And so yeah, it's not going to make it on page. I think I end up adding a smaller one farther over, but it isn't a big round one like that is. And in the lens, I cut out a piece that had a duck and her baby. I think the baby ends up covering up, but the duck is still there, the mama duck. A couple of the dyes I'm using is a pink fresh one, the leafy branch or something like that. And then um, it's, what is that? It's on the tip of my tongue. It's um, Hero Arts and it has fern leaves and some mushrooms. I didn't use the mushroom because I have the fussy cut ones instead. I am tucking every, oh, this is a little berry branch and I cut it apart and I'm tucking it in. And I'm gonna look at that and decide I wanna add the, it's a tree ring wheel, but it says seek and find, seek and go find. And it's a sticker, and I put it on cardstock so I could put foam tape on it. But I will be adding it over to the right. I tried to add that little thing, but no, I didn't like it. But I am going to add the smaller tree ring. Because it's farther away, and it's smaller. It's not too about the same size. I am tucking in a few more leaves. I planned on moving them up. You might have seen me try to move them. But I had those babies glued down pretty good and they weren't moving. So I had to add some more. It's a good thing for dyes so I can make more. <laughs> Not that I made any today. I was just thinking about my stash. <laughs> and 
having to build it back up if I use very many that got covered up. Now this is uh, antique linen, and I have never splattered antique linen before. There was a thing on eBay where it had four brand new ones together that you could buy. Well, I wanted one color. And the thing was, they were pretty cheap to start with, so I hit watch item, you know, the baiting. You know, did I want the other three? I didn't have them, but did I want them? And so then they sent me an offer. And to start out with, it was only $3.20 each, which is good. And they made me an offer, so they ended up like two fifty seven. dollars Well, I took it. And here I thought, looking at that bottle, is going to be a light green. No, it is not a light green. It is a light, bright kind of blue. Some of the splatters are brighter than others. Well, they were really bright up there in that corner, my first splatter. And they were big, and they were close together. And I tried to cover them up with a little more, thinking, well, if I added some more, maybe because it was my first splatter out of the bottle it would look more green. No, it just looked worse. It looked like some kind of infection or fungus or something. So I had to cover it up with the mountains. I was trying to save the mountains and not use them all up every time I do an outlet. Uh, outlet. <laughs> Lay out with a, a forest or greenery or outdoors or anything. Yeah, I was trying to restrain myself from putting them on there, but I like them on there, so that's okay. I was able to cover up my big time goof. All I can say is thank goodness. Now, that tree seemed to be just hanging out there. I didn't want the mountains by themselves there, so I added one tree. And I thought, I need to do something. So I'm adding a label. Well, stickers. I'm adding some stickers. I'm adding three, a label, and but I did put cardstock behind two of them. And a small tree ring, and it says Dex, Docks, and Flip Flops. And then it has that catch of the day because, you know, my photo was the catch of the day. And, yeah, I'm a lot happier with that blotch covered up. Thank goodness. Uh, if you notice on here, there is a banner underneath that last little cluster I put. But after I took the pictures and started editing the video, I kept thinking it needed something. So I added that little banner. It looked like it was hanging out there too much by itself. So I added it to make it a little more complete. Add some greenery. I forgot about that. I did add some greenery. But if y'all leave a comment down there below, I'll try to get back with you. If you like the video and hit the thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. If you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. And those of you already are, thank you so very much. And thank you all for watching my video today. And thanks to Gwen for the scrap lift that I had fun doing, even though I did add a lot more. <laughs> um, don't forget, there is a playlist down there, Crystal created for the hop. And all you have to do is click on it for more inspiration. Have fun, Scrappy Week. Bye.